Welcome to this section of the tutorial where we're going to explore the abilities of the TI-89 to handle vectors, uh, vector operations. So trying to find the, the norm of a vector, which is the length of a vector, the uh, cross product, the dot product, and a uh, unit vector is something that we're going to talk about also. So we're going to cover four main operations. All right. Now the first thing uh, for you to know is that the way that you input a vector into this calculator is using these square brackets. So for instance, if we wanted to put a two-dimensional vector in, just a vector in the xy plane, forget about three dimensions for a moment, then what you would do is uh, if this uh, uh, vector had an x component of 1 uh, in the x direction, you'd put it a 1 like that, and if it had a y component of 5, uh, then you would put it like this. So notice right away, this looks exactly, almost exactly, like what we did in the last section, where we were just inputting coordinate points. But when you think about it, that makes total sense, because the definition of a vector is, if you just go off to like a, a xy plane here, if we have a vector out here, like a length and an arrow, arrow tip out here, then it's completely represented by the tip of that arrow out here. So if the tip of that arrow is at 1 comma 5, then you would say your vector has an x component of, of 1 and a y component of 5. And so the arrow would be coming up to the tip like this. That's basically the same exact representation as, as a point in the xy plane. And that's why vector operations uh, become so easy to deal with when you represent them this way. So uh, basically you're going to be representing your vectors exactly the way we represented those points in the xy plane with the square brackets. So you already have some familiarity with it. So this guy means uh, if you want to think about vector notation, if you're studying vectors, this would be 1i plus 5j because i is in the x direction, j is in the y direction. Um, if you wanted to make it a three-dimensional vector, you just put a z direction here as well. So 1i plus 5j plus 8k. i, j, k is just a notation for dealing with vectors. It means x, y, and z. So 1 is in the x direction, 5 is in the y direction, 8 is in the z direction. It's just a point that represents the tip of that arrow. All right, so that's how we that's how we represent vectors. Now, before we get going more, you can store vectors into variables to be used later, which is nice because if you type in a very long vector and you're doing operations, it's you know kind of cumbersome sometimes. So you put your vector in there, hit the store button, and you just pick a letter just like anything else. So we could put it in G, or we could type a name out if we'd like to, G A B or something like that. We could stick it in there. We hit enter, and you see the calculator's accepted that. So if we go up. And clear all this stuff out and then we put G back on the stack and hit enter then we get our vector back so we can use the letters that we have identified to um, if we if we use them a lot we might make more sense 